masculine provides everything. All provision is in the realm of the masculine. The woman needs to be, to be redeemed, needs help from outside of herself. So that's why what's going on in the world today with the One World Order, the New World Order, they're trying to make all of the people, in, they're, they're forcing all of the people into this female role. But I, it, it's so, so obvious to me. I just I drove somewhere the other day, and we have a gym around here. I don't know what you've got in the other states that these people are in. But there's a gym called LA Fitness. It comes from, I think, does it come from Los Angeles? Is that where it comes California. from? It comes from California. And uh, that gym came in. They had a lot of money. They built this really beautiful gym. They put a couple of gyms out of business. Then I'm driving to the highway the other day, and there's another LA Fitness opening up down there. What does all this mean? It means that the, 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 uh, the international corporations are taking over every business and kicking small people out of business. They come in with all of their money and they open up restaurants and stores and Home Depots and Staples and they, they open up businesses where they, they attract the people either through the prices or because it's just really, it's just really pleasant to your eyes. Because when you go to a gym, you'd much rather be working at it in a gym that's pleasant than in some barn that has the same, the same machines that you're working out at. You would go to the nice gym, would you not? You want to look nice and the music and places. It looks pretty and hopefully that's where you go. What are they doing? Is it just money? It's not just money, brethren. It's not just money. <laughs> They're touching every industry where you find mom and pop businesses. And they're deliberately putting these people out of business so that they will take jobs and be slaves of the state. They're deliberately moving them out of their, their masculine realm. If you're a shopkeeper, you don't have to be a big business person. You just own one shop. And you own a, you own a living. You earn a living. There used to be all kinds of businesses like that around. Just one man owning a shop. They called them shopkeepers. They didn't even call them businessmen. Shopkeepers, you earn just enough to support your family. They're being put out of business across the board, across the whole country, I'm sure the whole Western world. It's not just greed, brethren, it's not just money. They're, if you just own a shop, you are in the realm of the masculine. You own your own business. My, when I was growing up, I had a friend whose husband, whose father was, um, I think they called him a window washer. He, he had contracts with, with people that had stores, and he went around and he squeegeed their plate glass window of their stores. That's what he does. He was a, a window washer, but he had his own business. He was in the realm of the masculine. He had his own clients, see? And he went around and he squeegeed their, their business windows and he made a nice living. That's the realm of the masculine. So these, these big international corporations, they know exactly what they're doing. They're taking, they're forcing the average person out of the realm of the masculine into the realm of the feminine. Yeah, that's what they're doing. Yeah. That's what it's all about.